in this lecture i am trying to uh, tell about the basics of costing myself vishnu vardhani this is the first lecture in uh, uh, explaining you the basics of uh, costing in this lecture we will deal with the basics of costing especially the fundamentals and this uh, as this is the first lecture we'll see what is the difference between a financial accounting and cost accounting what are what is the need for a cost accounting uh, when actually financial accounting is already there and is uh, well renowned so what you what is why you need to go for cost accounting what are its objective functions what are its advantages and the definitions for for cost will be dealt in this lecture accounting is a business language so in accounting you have uh, the various transactions that are to be communicated so you purchase material in an industry you consume the material you get human resources those human resources you pay some amount then after producing a product you sell it in the market so for every uh, of this uh, uh, exchange you do some financial transaction uh, the financial transaction may be in terms of uh, money the money in terms of cash or in terms of credit or in terms of debit may be anything so those things are to be communicated in a consolidated manner so that any anybody who wants to look on the status of the financial transactions will understand it so as it is used for communication it is called as language as it as in the business mainly financial transactions are communicated it is called as a business language so accounting is called a business language in accounting what do you actually do you collect the data first what are the data that you collect any transaction that happens is collected any financial transaction any transaction in which you do uh, uh, where money is involved then uh, in terms of cash credit or debit then you uh, collect that information first you record it in as per the procedures that are set by the accounting and then you analyze those things you consolidate you uh, you total you purchase n number of materials in n number of days you total those uh, uh, amount which you have purchased say for example you buy bales of cotton on different days and uh, in different rates you collect the total amount and record you record it on each day and then you analyze and consolidate into the total amount this uh, totaling of various transactions are happening and then you press you prepare a it in a format and present it uh, to the audience the audience may be internal or external audience so these are the various types of accounting and the uh, uh, important uh, accountings are financial accounting management accounting and cost accounting the topmost is the financial accounting um, but in this uh, lecture we are going to see into cost accounting uh, i highlight on what is uh, financial accounting is told so that you will get a better knowledge of where you will have to go for financial accounting and um, and to know the benefits of cost accounting and where you have to use cost accounting so in financial accounting you record all financial transactions then summarize the financial transactions and you prepare reports the reporting format uh, for financial accounts or the financial reports that are prepared are balance sheet profit and loss account cash flow statement these are the various or important uh, the financial statements that are prepared uh, on summarizing the financial transactions these uh, reports are given for external as well as internal users those users see the financial position say if it is a, a stock market the uh, people who invest in share market uh, look into the balance sheet 
and no uh, and the profit and loss of own statements and from that uh, they uh, predict the future and if uh, they will see if their money will uh, money value will improve and based on that they will uh, buy the shares of the company so for that external users for uh, this is a usage of external user then it department uh, or the bank who give loan see to the financial position and then accordingly they give loans so if this is uh, uh, done properly then uh, uh, the bankruptcy uh, can be actually avoided if these uh, reports are prepared uh, correctly and if these reports are analyzed before giving loans then uh, uh, many losses of uh, uh, bankruptcy can be avoided then internal uses so the top management are uh, will see whether we are running on profit uh, whether we are learning on loss how we have to forecast what uh, are we going uh, as per our ideas or uh, as per the vision and mission of the company so for that uh, uh, whether we have to buy loans whether we have to invest more those decisions uh, uh, done by the top management are done using these uh, financial statements but we are not going to look into the financial accounting in this lecture next is cost accounting then what is cost accounting the same financial uh, transactions are also recorded here along with the financial transactions we are recording it with, with the additional details in uh, say in a cotton or a spinning mill you take a uh, purchase of cotton they will record only the values along with those values you they will uh, record it as direct material whereas in cost accounting you will record it as say the variety of the raw material say you buy mcu5 cotton uh, you buy 100 bales on this day and uh, next you buy uh, s6 cotton you buy dc uh, dch 32 cotton you buy different varieties of cotton on different days because you may mix and use it for producing the yarn so you are recording it with, along with the details along with the supplier which supplier is good those things you we can analyze using this which variety is good and what is the quality of that along with those details we will record the data so if you are uh, giving the uh, money for a packing person then you will uh, record along with how much uh, uh, pieces he had packed in the garment uh, in the garment industry how much he has ironed how much he has stitched along with the additional details you who has uh, uh, done the work how much work is done and what is the uh, uh, trans financial transaction done for that type of work so you record the financial transaction along with the details so after recording that you analyze the reports uh, analyze the data so you group it into various cost centers for this uh, factory factory one factory two this machine uh, machine wise you record the data or product wise you have three different products like you um, you uh, produce a garment you uh, you three do three styles of garments so you rec uh, you collect data and uh, consolidate based on the type of products or type of machines and then prepare the cost statements uh, and especially the cost sheet is a cost statement that prepared out of cost accounting this is for internal uses when you do some prepare a quotation for an industry you have uh, which product you have to increase production which product you have to decrease production all those data which is more profitable in production which is more profitable in sales those those data you uh, you will prepare and this is used by totally internal and it is kept confidential because uh, based on this data many can go for doing some profitable business so this is uh, these data are kept confidential within the industry so we are going to deal with this cost accounting or costing In managerial accounting, data of uh, both cost accounting as well as uh, financial accounting are there. And this is also particularly for internal users and uh, 
this is used for especially decision making and cost control. Let us look into the need for cost accounting and the objectives of cost accounting. What are its uh, what are the steps or functions that you do in cost accounting or in general costing and the advantages of cost accounting. After that, we will see the various types of costs. The main need for cost accounting is to uh, overcome the limitation of financial accounting. Financial accounting records the data uh, without details. So when you need to take some internal decisions, say for example, you have um, you are manufacturing three products in your uh, industry, and which product is profitable? So they buy raw material and from that they do some variation in the process and produce three products. For uh, in financial accounting, you buy the raw material and uh, you enter the data as such. Whereas in, uh, in your cost accounting, you uh, disseminate the data or you divide the data for each type of product and then you record it so that you will know how much amount of raw material is used in product A, product B and product C. Uh, so you will know how much cost product A is uh, contributing, product B is contributing and product C is contributing for the business. Say if the business has a, uh, there, there was a loss in the business. In that, which product has actually cost loss? Uh, if you do not know that which product you will stop and which product you will increase without knowing the data, you can't take any decision. So financial accounting cannot be used for taking uh, decisions related to which product line you have to take, which is the most profitable one. So for those, uh, you are using uh, cost accounting. So overcome these limitations of financial accounting, you go for cost accounting. You uh, are able to ensure that the resources are utilized optimally. Uh, material resources, human resources and other resources, money are all optimally utilized. Uh, as all resources are scarce, you have to take maximum output from the um, from minimum input. So for that, how much is the input for each product and which product gives a maximum output from minimum resources has to be found uh, for uh, better um, profitability of the industry. So to improve uh, the efficiency or to achieve an overall good efficiency in the business, uh, you need to maximize the profit for which uh, cost accounting is needed. You need to find which product line is more profitable. That the sales has to be improved. So for that the type of decisions, you need cost accounting data, which, which had consumed more raw material cost. Uh, so for that, for if you have two or three products, any industry is going to produce a three or four type of products or n number of products in their industry. So you have to take many decisions for which cost accounting is totally necessary. Then uh, the uh, which has uh, conversion cost which is higher. You have a raw material, you convert it. Which product the conversion cost is higher? Uh, which product? Uh, the selling price has to be changed whether the selling price to be increased or decreased only on the cost accounting data you can do these things next uh, these are the list of limitations which can be overcome using cost accounting so uh, financial uh, accounting gives data of past uh, you cannot predict future, whereas for cost accounting data, you can predict the future because it uh, comes with additional uh, details about that, uh, about the product or other uh, resources. It reveals the overall results of the business. Uh, total company, how it is um, uh, functioning, profitable or loss. Sometimes they may do some, some products may cause loss and some products may cause a profit. So that, uh, that, that is not revealed in the financial accounting reports like balance sheet, profit and loss account. 
so it is static in nature and uh, it, it does not have any impact on the price level change or uh, do, no relationship from the financial accounting can be uh, derived or uh, found out for the price level change it does not have any control of any resources because how much resources um, were utilized for that product uh, in terms of material labor or other expenses cannot be found from the financial accounting and it does not provide any data for fixing the price or what the price you have to fix for the product by varying the profit those things you cannot do using financial accounting reports you cannot do comparisons between two type of products you cannot find which is the break even point how much i have to sell to get a profit how much uh, I have for this much profit, 20% profit, how much I have to sell and what should be my selling price. These uh, data cannot be found using your financial accounting and cost accounting data is necessary for these things. So, these limitations are overcome by your cost accounting. It does not mean that uh, financial accounting is a lower one. To know many de details and the, the uses of financial accounting are varied. Those, uh, the, the limitations that are in financial accounting is only highlighted. Whereas advantages are not highlighted. It does not mean that financial accounting is of no use. It has some different type of use and it, its target users are totally different. Uh, those uh, cost accounting information may not be helpful to people. Uh, external people or IT or uh, some other external users and for big major decisions uh, this cost accounting also is not useful so uh, it is just to tell the importance of cost accounting. So in cost accounting there are varied functions like first you collect the data and classify if any transaction is recorded what is that type of transaction you have to classify the transaction like whether it is <clears throat> this transaction is for some buying some material or getting some human resource or some other expense so that classification has to be done so there are end, uh, there are different types of classification according to the need we have to classify whether it is variable or fixed whether it is happening in factory or office or uh, whether it is uh, related to sales or distribution what type has to be classified first and then that has to be recorded and totaled so n number of transactions will happen and thus those have to be recorded according to the classification and then you have to allot it for the various products okay sometimes it is accumulated you have to apportion and do it for various products and then you have to find the cost of the product with this data and then the uh, report has to be uh, prepared and uh, it has to be communicated like the quotations, uh, cost sheets have to be communicated. So it starts with recording of all incomes and expenditures and then it ends in the preparation of the periodical statements uh, uh, for ascertaining and controlling of costs. To find out the cost and to control cost is the main aim of cost accounting. So recording controlling estimating and reporting for costs is the uh, is what cost accounting deals with so uh, this is used for controlling costs and for uh, decision making purposes so these are the objectives to ascertain costs or to find out the cost whether it is a, a profit or loss with the product if you have already fixed the price or um, whether it will be profitable at what rate if it is a loss what rate it will be a loss then to determine the selling price of the product this is the cost and how much profit you have to fix for that type of product then for cost control and reduction for uh, decisions by management such as picking fixing the price of the product for um, profit planning which product we will uh, plan for uh, higher profit which product we should go for uh, lower profit these data have to uh, uh, this de these decisions can be taken and for budgeting how much resources you have to allocate in the next quarter or in the next year or in the forthcoming long term period so those budgeting decisions uh, can be uh, are facilitated using cost accounting reports Next, it also aids in financial and other statements also.
So next, what is cost control is when you uh, have a uh, target in terms of cost and production, uh, that uh, fixing can be uh, done. So you have to do this under this cost itself. So this is in this is called as control. So ascertainment of actual costs and first you have to uh, fix a target. Uh, I have to produce it at this cost. Then you uh, then you actually start producing and find then uh, what are the actual costs that were incurred during for the raw material or the resources or that for conversions. You have to record those things and find the actuals. You have to then compare whether I have produced as per my target. So the, that is called as analyzing variances. What is the variation in the actual price and the target price? So based on that uh, variations, we have to take remedial steps for uh, this is what uh, these are the steps involved in cost control. Fixing a target, finding the actual, uh, uh, finding the difference between the actual and the target and then analyzing why those variations have occurred and where it has occurred and taking remedial steps to uh, control the costs. So these are the steps involved in your cost control for which your cost accounting reports are actually used. So these, uh, uh, um, uh, what are the decision making? So when you go in for quotations, you have to give a price. So what a price is based on cost plus profit. So what price my product has to be sold for attaining some profit? You would have fixed a target profit uh, based on your experience and competitors uh, um, uh, price. So with that, for what is the price that I should fix so that I get the uh, my quotation accepted by some uh, provider uh, for whom we, we are going to do the production. So uh, at what level of efficiency or how much I should utilize the resources so that my profit margin is this much. If I fix my profit margin as 20% at what efficiency should I run. So these things uh, can be done using your cost reports or costing reports or cost accounting reports and in budgeting you actually find uh, how much resources are there and which product will accumulate how many or more uh, percentage of your budgeted uh, costs. So these decisions also are uh, useful in uh, um, um, cost accounting are utilized by this budgeting uh, team. Then make or buy decision. This is an important decision in many industries, especially textile industries. Say this, if you take uh, an apparel manufacturing industry, they will have some type of machinery, some type of uh, 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 skill setup uh, of human resources are available. But uh, when you get uh, uh, an order, you uh, when you uh, want to process an order, you have to wait first check whether this order if I make in my unit if it is profitable or whether I have to uh, give it as uh, a job order for some other unit where they can their um, skill is better in that particular type of product. My concern is uh, will work profitable for some type of style that I am producing. Whereas some other type of industry will perform better in some other style of garment. So, so I have to take a decision whether to I have to make it in my industry or whether I have to go for outsourcing. So this is make or buy decision which is an important decision when you accept a, an order and when you are going to process it. These decisions are uh, done using cost reports. Next, uh, these are the advantages from the uh, um, lecture till now. You would have identified the advantages. So it is actually identifying the unprofitable areas where losses are occurred, where inefficiencies are occurring, whether it is in factory, whether it is in administration, whether it is in selling, where actually the unprofitable or whether the material that we use is unprofitable, whether it is because of human resources or any other expenses, where I went wrong can be found. 
using cost accounting reports and uh, by that you can fix the responsibility so this department has to function better it's not targeting and cornering someone it is actually uh, making uh, people responsible uh, and giving uh, measures that they can follow to uh, utilize their resources uh, in a better manner uh, to uh, set up a system so that they uh, do not accumulate more amount of costs. So it measures actually the economic performance of, uh, of, a, uh, of a company can be measured using cost accounting reports. You can uh, find how much uh, stock are available, uh, whether it is a finished good stock, uh, your uh, raw material stock or in process stock. This data is available with your cost accounting reports. And uh, it also tells you on how much uh, wastage has occurred in each areas. And uh, application of uh, cost reduction techniques are possible. And you can do some uh, implement some cost reduction techniques only with the cost data. Otherwise, you cannot do it. You can do value analysis, uh, value of each type of work, how much value addition one type of work is uh, uh, this will cost this much uh, uh, time and cost uh, for a product, but that will not add value to the product. The product's price is no, cannot be increased even if this value, whether this value actually gives us some profit. So that is uh, done using value analysis and uh, that is helpful in making your industry more profitable. An elimination of wastes are uh, can be done using this uh, reports, and it helps in checking the accuracy. Whether when you prepare a financial account, whether matches or uh, are those reports real can be found to some extent using the cost accounting data. It uh, helps also helps in inventory control, and it uh, it also uh, has a good data data of the products variety styles costs and the conversions which are very much useful in setting up the operational policy for a long term and also for short term periods so these are the advantages of cost we will see what is cost cost is defined as the amount of resources given up in exchange for any goods or service Goods means raw material, service means a human resource or an electricity or things like that. So how much uh, money value you give in exchange for getting these service or uh, goods is called as cost. Any, or anything that is incurred during the production of a good or service to get the output in the hands of a customer. Cost means the amount of expenditure, expenditure actual or uh, it is notional that it has incurred on or it is attributed to uh, anything, any given thing. In other words, it indicates that it is the actual or the ex ex estimate. It may be actual or estimated also. It may be a direct or something that may be indirect. Direct means you see a raw material. You see some person, uh, he works for uh, one hour. You pay some 100 rupees per hour, something like that. Then it is a direct expenditure. It may be indirect or something. sometimes it may be indirect also. And it, it is related to the job or process or product or service. So your cost is... Uh, dealt with this so anything incurred during the production of a good or service to get the output for the customer is called as cost as already mentioned so these examples of costs are material cost labor cost electricity cost fuel cost advertising cost transport cost etc one important thing that has to be noted is those Costs involved in the purchase of land, building or machinery which are long term assets are not included in cost calculations because it is already as mentioned it is used for long term. It will not be directly used in product calculation. Instead these are called as capitalized cost which you are using for buying or generating capital. So you are uh, incurring it for buying some fixed assets. Uh, 
so this will not be included for uh, calculating the cost instead of this this data uh, uh, this uh, building is depreciating my machine is used maybe for 10 years or 15 years or 20 years it is the value of the machine depreciates and at the end period it will it will be sent as scrap if you buy a machine for 10 lakhs uh, after 15 years it is sold for some 15,000 only the weight of the machine or some material that are there in the machine are utilized so that uh, that depreciation each year's depreciating the value depreciated is taken into account for cost calculation whereas the capital cost as such is not used in cost calculation so this is one important thing i had to mention 